Hello, welcome back to Lunchtime Babbling. So it's been a while. We've had a pretty busy audit season and summertime season, but we're back with season two and uh, super excited to get back into things. Obviously, there's been a lot going on. Digital Services Act has come into force and uh, the EU AI Act is in the trilogue process. And obviously, generative AI has dominated the headlines. And so we're going to be looking into sort of what is generative AI. Generally, we'll be talking a lot more about best ways to test generative AI and governance. And so this season is going to be really exciting. I'm going to have a a lot of interviews, which I'm also excited about. But now I want to talk a little bit about what we've been doing over the past few months. So primarily, the main focus has been working on audits and audits for New York City Local Law 144. And increasingly, we've been getting a lot of interest in the EU AI Act, even though it's not hasn't come into effect and it still hasn't even been finished. The debating process, the trilogue is still happening and a lot could change. Companies are realizing that uh, the EU AI Act is going to be important. So working on these audits and working on the EU AI Act has been a, a big focus for us. However, the thing that's really dominated the work that we've done has been the AI and Algorithm Auditor Certificate Program. And this program is something that we I talked about a little bit last season on Lunchtime Babbling, sort of had introduced the idea that we had a problem finding people who had the skills that we needed. And we saw that there was not a lot of material out there in terms of training for, well, responsible AI in general, but then in particular, the sort of technical, socio-technical risk assessment skills that we saw as being really important for our auditors. And so we put together this training primarily for the people that work, our auditors that work with us, but there was so much interest in other people taking it that we opened it up for everybody. And we had a really good cohort. There was a, a lot of people going through. And so over the summer, we had a cohort working its way through the program. And the first couple have already taken the certification, finished the courses, taken the certification exam, passed the exams that are now certified AI and algorithm auditors under our training. And so super gratifying to me, uh, having spent so much time working on this, that other people are getting some value out of this. So I just wanted to just talk a little bit about that training because it's it's now finished um, and and we're super excited about it. So the training is five courses. So there are really five core areas that we saw as being central to this, the job of algorithm auditing. And so the first one is algorithms, AI, and machine learning. So this is the technical course. This is what is AI and how does it work? And in particular, how does the technical components connect to risk? So really focusing on the areas where we know it's risk relevant, but it is a, a kind of straight up sort of technical course. So it covers a lot of conceptual knowledge of AI and the types of models and machine learning in particular, but we do dabble in a little bit of code as well. And it's, it's all in Python. The second is algorithmic risk and impact assessments. So this is sort of the bread and butter, I think, of the program. We have a very specific methodology for doing ethical risk and impact assessments for algorithms here at Babel. It's something that we've developed. We published it a few years ago, and we've been sort of road testing and refining it ever since. And so that course is really about doing those things the Babel way. Doesn't mean that's the only way, but it's it's the way that we found most effective. And so that is uh, the details of, of doing that ethical risk and impact assessments primarily for algorithmic systems. And then the third course is AI governance and risk management. So there are so many risk management frameworks out there for AI now. It's really exploded since we got into the business. NIST came out with its framework. ISO is now coming out with a really special AI governance framework. People have adapted uh, things like model risk management. And so this course is meant to really have the conceptual backbone for being able to navigate all of these risk management frameworks. So it really focuses on, and all of these courses are that way, it focuses on first principles. Like why are we even doing this in the first place? What is risk management? What role does governance play? And what are the best current best practices? And so that's the third course. And then the fourth is another sort of technical course, which is bias, accuracy, and the statistics of AI testing. And this is a course which focuses particularly on how do you construct and test these uh, met construct metrics for and to test these AI systems for a variety of properties. 
So bias being one of the most important, obviously things like accuracy and other sort of performance metrics are really, really important. But again, we are focusing a lot on the conceptual underpinning, the uh, foundational knowledge that you need to really interrogate these systems in a way that connects up with risk. And so this risk assessment leads to technical metrics which are relevant for those risks that you've identified. And that's a common theme in all of the courses and our work is connecting that socio-technical with the sort of strict technical performance metrics. And then finally, the fifth course is uh, algorithm auditing and assurance. This one is real specific for us as a company, but it's essentially how do we audit algorithms? What are the standards that we use? What are the policies and procedures really around this AI assurance framework that we're using? So that's the final course. And so we've had this whole cohort of students now gone through this course. They're still some of them, it's self-paced. So there are some of them that are taking their time or spending more time on one course than another. But we're now seeing students starting to finally graduate. And this is exciting because now is the time and laws are coming to effect like the Digital Services Act. Big companies like uh, you know, the big four uh, auditing firms are, are moving into this space. They've already been in this space, but they're sort of upping their game and, and really moving into this market of AI assurance. And so there's gonna be work out there for this. And so I'm excited to finally see this come to fruition. So Lunchtime Babbling is back. Season two is here. So uh, you know, if you're watching this, please like and subscribe. Uh, down in the comments, we do have a code for you if you wanna get a 20% discount on the course. And I'm looking forward to season two.